I had to say something to my support system, I think, um, gosh, it would be so hard because there's there aren't enough words to express my gratitude. As I'm uh, nearing the end of my career, it's become abundantly clear that it takes a village and there have been so many people who have allowed me to follow this dream and, and to live my passion and have my dream job for so many years. and. Um, Truly, I, I can't thank them enough, and um, it's all thanks to you. Yes, this couldn't have happened uh, without many, many people. So uh, thanks to each and every one of you. We've had so many teachers and coaches, it's impossible to round up all the amazing lessons that we've learned over the years, but one of my most important or influential actually came from Caitlin Osmond in an interview that she did where she told the reporter that she was striving for progress instead of perfection and that's something we really take into our day-to-day -day. you can lose a lot of time when you're only striving to be perfect instead of taking those little steps every day it's really all about the the journey for us it's one of my uh favorite lessons came from uh, Alison Perkis and she told me my favorite quote that I still say uh, today, uh, control the controllable. We have so many exterior factors going on around us and that couldn't have been more true over the last uh, two years. So just focusing on what we can control and uh, doing our job and I think we can carry that into any endeavor that we do. Uh, one word to describe me, loyal. Um, positive? Yeah. I was going to say kind. Positive works too. We are so proud to be Canadian and it really never gets old to wear the maple leaf and to represent Canada. We wouldn't want to represent anywhere else and I think we have just taken so much pride every year in trying to conduct ourselves in a way that uh, we believe Canadians uh, should be portrayed across the world and we hope we've done a good job. Yes, we definitely uh, try to hold ourselves uh, to a high standard while we're uh, wearing that maple leaf and just the respect we get around the world uh, is second to none because of it. The first one, I was pretty young when uh, Jamie Saleh and David Felce finished their uh, free program at the Olympics in Salt Lake City in 2002. I, time really st stood still for me. I didn't have any interest in pairs at the time, uh, but I just felt the magic that they created on the ice and actually take a lot of inspiration from that as something that we try to do as a team as well. And the second would be Caitlin Osmond and Pyeong Chang. Um, we were all there to watch her performance and when she finished it did really feel like time stood still. It felt like it took a long time for her marks but uh, collectively as Canadians in figure skating and many other sports who were there watching her we just felt an immense sense of pride. We were just so proud of her for doing the thing. Yes, I remember uh, when uh, Bilodeau won the first gold uh, medal in Vancouver. I was sitting by myself in my basement, dreaming of being in that position one day and uh, watching him have uh, the run of his life and embrace his family at the end of the hill was uh, pretty special. For us, making another Olympic team is everything we've dreamed of, but it also has become about so much more than that. And so we're constantly trying to find that balance of enjoying the experience and the journey together, and also uh, being productive and being competitive and, and getting our job done. I mean, every time I talk about it, I find myself uh, getting emotional because this I was a kid that just wanted to skate all the time. I just wanted to skate. My parents never forced me to go to the rink. I just genuinely, seven days a week, just really wanted to be there. And when I was seven, I told my mom that I was going to go to the Olympics. And my mom sort of let me down easy and said, well, you know, not everyone gets to go. If you try your best, that should be good enough for you. And with the confidence that only a seven-year-old has, I said, well, mom, somebody has to go. Why can't it be me? And when I look at my career and the 
tumultuous lows and the incredible highs that I've had, I just, and as I, I near the end of it, I just can't help but be so grateful. And, you know, we, we, didn't, we didn't do everything, you know, of course. We didn't accomplish everything so far that we set out to accomplish. But, oh my gosh, when I think back, I just can't help but think about that seven-year-old kid. Just like, oh my gosh, you did it. You did it all. And sometimes it, it means so much more to have uh, the relationships and the experiences and uh, the journey and conducting your, yourself in a way that you can be so proud of at the end of it. And, oh gosh, I just know my little seven-year-old self would just be so, so thrilled with everything that she has done. Yeah, the other day I was watching some old uh, videos with my roommates and uh, it was pretty cool to think about all the things that have happened uh, between those videos and now. Definitely, uh, we get a little bit caught up in the moment and the results uh, from day to day trying to uh, improve ourselves, but looking back and thinking about all the ups and downs and all of the cool things we had accomplished uh, definitely felt good.